Now I see why they say the miniseries, well, isn't very good. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and this is my review of the 1990 miniseries of IT. I wanted to do this video because I have never seen the miniseries until today and also because, you know, to celebrate IT Chapter 2 being released this weekend, which I am going to go see tomorrow, I decided that I was going to do reviews not only of IT Chapter 1 from 2017, but also of the IT miniseries and I've officially watched it and I gotta say, this was grueling. It was a very hard task to finish because as I was watching this, the first half with the kids is okay. It's okay. It's watchable. But that second half with the adults is some of the worst acting, some of the worst directing I've really seen in a film in a while. And there are those movies that are so bad that they're enjoyable, but the second half of this isn't even like enjoyable. It's very hard to get through the second half because once this movie kind of takes its turn into more of the adult section and they're trying to you know stop Pennywise 30 years after the events of when they were kids I just got really bored you don't care about any of the characters anymore and really all of these adult actors don't do a very good job of kind of staying consistent with how the character was from the first half of this miniseries. Now, I have also heard a lot about the way that this miniseries kind of plays out and the way that Pennywise is portrayed by Tim Curry. I've heard a lot of, you know, praise towards Tim Curry and what he did with Pennywise. I will say there are some moments where Tim Curry is very creepy in this role of Pennywise, but never did I find him frightening. Never did I find Pennywise to really be scary or terrifying. And that's kind of where this movie lost me a little bit. This didn't really feel like a horror film. It had some horror elements, but it felt more of kind of like a redemption story about these adults who have to go and try to fight back against this thing that, you know, tormented them when they were kids. And so it, to me, never kind of registered in my brain that this is an actual horror film. Tim Curry does a serviceable job, but I think, you know, with what we got out of Bill Skarsgård's performance from IT 2017, I just find that rendition and that portrayal of Pennywise to be a lot more frightening and terrifying and leaving me wanting more. I felt like Tim Curry gave everything that he had to give, and that was pretty much it. This movie, you can tell that this movie tries to take certain elements from the book outside and put it into the movie, and it doesn't really work all that well. I think all the Henry Bowers stuff with him kind of being like a greaser and him being a bully to, to the Losers Club, I don't really feel like he does a serviceable job. I think Henry Bowers is written very lazily to where this entire first half, he's a bully, and then he takes the fall for all these murders, and you never see him interact with Pennywise in the first half. So it's almost like you're watching two separate characters trying to be the same person. And I really didn't like that with the Henry Bowers storyline. And I really love what they did in 2017. Now, I think I would have more love for this had I seen this before the new It Chapter 1. To be honest, I really didn't truly care about this miniseries. One fact, Seth Green's in this movie, which is, I, I think, pretty cool. But that's really it. That's the only real thing that kind of kept me clinging on. And some of the way that, you know, the kids interact with one another isn't very believable. And they're almost like filtered to a T, where it's like kids don't talk a certain way that they're trying to portray in this miniseries. I get it, it's a made-for-TV movie, but I would have liked them to at least interact more like kids interact with one another. Really, this was an interesting experience to watch this miniseries. There is really no violence. It cuts away at all of the scary images in this film. That's too bad. I really never felt any suspense or any sense of dread or terror and in my horror films I like to feel that suspense I like to feel very heavy when watching a film and, and very kind of sag down into everything that's being presented and there was really nothing that was scary or horrifying honestly you don't need to watch this miniseries I just recommend you watch it 2017 and also go see it chapter 2 in theaters this weekend 
I think the miniseries is an interesting kind of look back on Pennywise and, and what they had in the 90s, but I love the direction that Andy Muschietti and his team are taking with this new installation of IT films that feel new and fresh, but they also add those elements from the book over nicely and seamlessly. You know, one last bit of thing before I end this video is the timeline doesn't make any sense with them being adults coming back. It's supposed to be 30 years after the events of them being kids. But there's a shot in this movie where Georgie it shows his tombstone and it shows a certain date and it doesn't match up with what these characters are saying or like where these characters are in life. So it's very weird. Anyway, guys, what do you think about the It miniseries? Did you grow up loving it? When you were a kid or were you like me and watched it just recently and didn't really have a huge love for it? Let me know down below in the comments section. Are you guys also going to go see a chapter 2? Let me know. Anyway guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. We all float down here.